You everyone, what up? Welcome back to Top Tier Arcade. My name is Steve, and we're back in the spare bedroom in my apartment, and we're just about to hit the road and get to the first location where my game's housed, and then the second location at my parents' house where I have the game's housed, and then come back to the apartment, show you what I bought this year, how much I spent, and uh, moving forward to 2018 and what the outlook is. So first off is to my buddy's warehouse where we have, I think, nine games. Thereafter, and I'm saying this because we're going to be doing it in different segments, so it's going to be different days during the holidays. I've been super busy at work, so I do need a little extra days to do it. Second, it's going to be to my parents and then back to the apartment to see what's up and what I've bought this year. And it's been my busiest year as far as spending, and it's been uh, a lot of thousands of dollars. So let's get to that. Let's review Top Tier Arcade's 2017 Arcade Review of the Year and uh, Arcade Tour, kind of. Again, it's fragmented. And uh, the explanation I'm going to have on what's going to happen in 2018. So let's hit the road. All right, everyone. So because my collection is fragmented, I'm at my buddy's warehouse. Um, and he's graciously allowed me to have my games stored here for the time being. Some of my games, not all. So we'll go in and see uh, what they look like and what they... And how they've been in a, in a few months just stored here. Now... There's a lot of construction, so the deal what I was going to do, so here's, here's the thing. As you can see, let's get by, you know, I haven't seen this in months, so I don't even know what this, this is. So as you can see, that's my Mortal Kombat 1 and Killer Instinct 1 protected. So my two games are here. What we are going to do, I'm going to tell you where these were going to be moved to, but again, I can't because these are behind here, behind here. So that's Killer Instinct 1, Mortal Kombat 1. Now, obviously, you can see, it's, there's no way I can get to them. Because the deal, what I was going to do, is move them today, but again, there's too much. I mean, the bad news, there's good and bad news. The bad news first. The bad news is I can't get to them, and I was going to move them into that designated... Uh, vacant work or used to be an office where my other games I'll show you now the good news is I've have to ever ever kill Jaws again there's a billion of these to just destroy it. so there's all these cylinders and everything else now before we go into this room look what you could see up there so up there is my Street Fighter 1 which we had to actually crane we had a forklift it so we took that forklift put the games in this while I was on top hanging, I was going to film it, but I didn't have time. And then um, put them up. So that's the Neo Geo 6 slot. That's the Street Fighter 1. That was the one featured in 2017's It movie, which I'll explain later. So when we keep going, when my buddy moves all this, we're going to move the rest of them in here. So here, um, if I'm not mistaken, is... Oh my God. Oh, oh, it's Killer Instinct 2, Street Fighter... Uh, three and then Street Fighter 2 and then I was gonna move the Killer Instinct uh, 1 there and then my uh, Mortal Kombat uh, 1 but not yet we still have to move this but they're safe they're heated and they've been just been covered so so far so good so again I have here a one two three four five six seven games here um, I was going to move my others that I have on my parents, um, but a lot has changed in my, like, in my life, and there's a lot going on with my parents and everything else that I'll explain a little later. So, so far, that is, what did I say, seven? Seven of my games are here. Uh, there's not really much more to see. Again, I can't uncover them. I don't want to touch them. They're heated. It's safe, and they're covered uh, without sunlight, and that's why I put all that up there. Uh, hopefully this doesn't fall through or this place doesn't explode. I know what you guys are already thinking. What if, what if Steve, well, what are you going to do? Um, I'm not paying for this. A friend of mine, I did him a favor. He did me a favor and uh, we'll see what happens. So hopefully uh, by next year we can start to see what's going to happen if I'm going to move. But I'll explain later on uh, when I do my outro. So now what we're going to do is head to my parents. Now I'm going to be, I'm sorry for the noise, I'm going to be doing this in segments because it's going to be different days so i'm here with my friend helping out i feel bad that he's doing it for free so i'm kind of making up my worth uh just to help him and his family out on their home business um but with that being said let's head to my parents house we'll see what's there 
and then after that we'll head to uh, my apartment. All right, so we'll see you then. And again, it will be a different day, but we'll continue on. Okay, so here we are at my parents. So we just came from my buddy's uh, storage. Um, we're going to my parents' basement, as you've seen in my past videos. What the hell? Past videos. Uh, where I have some of my stuff. Nothing's here. We just cleared out a lot of things. So uh, let's get to, I guess, storage two, which is in my parents' basement. It's been a lot of uh, family things going on. And this is a rare opportunity I get to film. Anyway, so, um, I look guys, I know it's under sheets and it's annoying. Um, but again, there's so much going on and I'm just grateful to have storage, which is relatively very safe and not charging me. Under there is my Double Dragon. If you haven't seen what it looks like, go to my past videos. They're archived. There's my Double Dragon safe. Close this door. Um, there's the... Uh, Antonio Noki Suru slot machine, Pachinzo slot machine. There's uh, my parts and everything here, just random nonsense and crap. Uh, there's my Miss Pac-Man dedicated original, again under covers, um, just being housed. So here are, um, again, some just some parts and everything is. Um, some PCBs, wiring. I don't know why the hell I had to keep old uh, Timo. Oh, I know why, because I wanted to try something. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, I mean, obviously when they're not on and they're not fully displayed, it's a disappointment. I mean, if I was you and you were watching me like, Steve, man, what the hell, I can't even see it. Uh, but I, I apologize just because the way things are right now, there's a lot going on. And, and again, just to have them safe, dry, stored, proper temperature and for free, um, I have to be grateful for that. So again, Pac-Man, um, slot machine, Antonio Inoki. And the double dragon so everything's safe and then again just some parts um let's head to the garage where i have housed uh, the final uh, final thing on my parents house which was uh the mortal kombat 2 so let's pause let's head up there and see the final game store to my parents all right so here we are in the garage from last year it's uh, night and day now it's just kind of storage for just random shit uh there's the mortal kombat 2 like i said the uh, last of the games on my parents for now uh the deal was to move all these games to my buddy's warehouse like you just saw a few minutes ago. But as you can see, his warehouse is getting full and then just, you know, storing it there and kind of the hassle and the responsibility um, is asking too much, especially when he's doing me a favor. And I've helped him out with some things as well and we made a deal. But, um, you know, I'm very lucky, you know, to have my parents to, you know, have this here and then my buddy as well to have it there. So that's Mortal Kombat 2 again behind all these... Uh, uh, lawn mowers and everything else and just garage uh, junk again you know this thing with the Mortal Kombat 2 I've only played it maybe around two hours you know only like when I've done my review if you want to go back and see that you can see what the cabinet in and out looks like me playing it I've only played it for like a couple of hours so that to me is like a brand new game just there which is one of my favorites so it's almost teasing me to have it there but it's so cold it's the end of the year uh, December 2017 right now so I can't turn it on my brothers are here for the holidays, and they're like, yo, you want to play? I'm like, I, I can't. It's too cold. You know, they didn't understand. So, yeah, there's Mortal Kombat 2. Um, a couple of people asked me, friends of mine, will I be bringing more games in here? I, I don't want to because I want to move this out. I don't want to burden my parents because, you know, they might even be selling the home. There's so much going on behind the scenes that, one, I, I can't really tell you, and two, that even if I did, you'd be like, what do you mean? And it would be confusing. There's a lot of emotions involved as well, but either way, um, it's here for now. It's safe. Uh, for the most part, I made sure there's no leakage there. I've uh, put padding and everything on top, and it's being covered and um, protected for the most part. So, all right, so uh, you've seen my buddy's warehouse. You've seen my parents' house. Now it's off to my apartment, uh, which I'm holding um, two Japanese cabs and two pinball machines. So when we head over... We'll do a review of that, and that's where all my new picks up for pickups for this year is, because all these that, that I'm showing you are older games from last year's. So let's head to my apartment where it's warmer, where I can maybe have a cigar, maybe smoke, or reflect back and talk about uh, what's yet to come. So let's head back to the apartment. I'll show you what's there. Okay, so here we are in the apartment after seeing my buddy's warehouse and uh, my parents' place. So why don't we jump right into it? So. I normally cover the games in blankets, as you can see there, because of the sun, which uh, when I do a uh, send-off, I'll have them probably wrap back up, because I do want to smoke. We'll see. 
But either way, so uh, let's get right to it. So here's my um, Vulix cab in, in the original Tato X2 hardware running the actual Street Fighter 4 with the multi, uh, like a multi game. Um, so here's uh, Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. Uh, here's a new addition to, I guess, the top tier family this year. This was the um, Sega Blast City uh, original with. Um, Again, it has all the internals it's working off the uh, the Naomi system and whatnot. It does have the, if you saw my old videos, I'll boot it up in a second. It, under there, it has the um, the Naomi Pi or, uh, you know, to actually just boot all the ROMs. It also does the Atomus Wave games. So I, I've themed it Marvel vs. Capcom 2, which is my favorite game. One of my favorite fighting games and definitely and when it comes to this, uh, the hardware. Uh, thereafter... Uh, came we're gonna go into my spare bedroom um, so this is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pinball um, I've added the topper to it again I do have a series ongoing I'm in the top tier tech phase of this uh, you can see all what I've done you know I replaced you know I patched that up which is pretty good for my first time I think and just touched it up added some side um, you know blades and I'm ready now an update this is the first time you're seeing this so let's get right to it um, Adriano uh, did come back and give me the play field. And again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, hit up my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles top tier tech and you'll see me working on them. Uh, Adriano fully, amazingly, this is even beyond words, um, did me a huge favor and he uh, redid the entire play field for me. So um, if you saw what it looked like before, it was all blown out. And he uh, restored everything, clear coated it. It's curing right now. As you can, like if you look at my last videos, this was all demoed, gone, destroyed. Uh, new pizza decal. Uh, that's from Marcos, but it's I think it's a couple of millimeters too thin, but kind of looks like it's on a, uh, a steel pen. But either way, beautiful. Looks amazing, amazing, amazing. I can't wait to get this in. I'm gonna start this in the new year, and we'll talk about it when we sit down, and uh, what I have going on for the next year. So that's just curing. And uh, it's been curing for now two weeks. And uh, maybe give it another week or so. So then there was the my first pinball ever pickup. So that's very exciting. And then the um, new, only about two months ago to top tier, is the Hobbit uh, Pinball LE Smog Edition. So I'm going to go ahead and turn these on momentarily just to show you. So this is what, no, the lighting's brutal. So this is the uh, the Hobbit that I bought from a uh, singer-songwriter of the Beer Naked Ladies, Ed Robertson, who's our pinball friend of ours um, within our group, great guy, an amazing enthusiast. I don't want to kiss his ass too much because he always hits me with it, but he knows his stuff, he loves pinball, uh, and uh, definitely great, you know, great to hang around and uh, to learn a thing or two, believe it or not, he does know his stuff. So... Uh, that was this was the biggest pickup money wise. I mean, all together we'll go through the numbers in a second, and we'll run how much I've spent. But those are the four games in the apartment. Um, let me get to this because. So here's kind of what we're thinking, just so you can reference this when I talk, when we sit outside and hang out and uh, chill out for a bit. So under here is all mostly the turtles, the parts, and everything I have to put together, and I hope that goes well because I'm a little intimidated. I have a lot of good help and I took a lot of pictures, so hopefully that goes through. So my goal is to get this, <clears throat> my first goal for 2018 is to work on this play field. And it's the, the behind, if you guys are unaware really quick, I never populated the behind. I just kind of, you can see I've just moved the pop bombers and everything behind there neatly. Hopefully nothing came loose, but uh, Adriano did an amazing job. I'm forever indebted and I thank him. Um, so the, the first thing is going to be to get that up and running, um, put LEDs in it, add you know the toys back on, and just make sure everything's right. And this will be finished and done and done. Uh, my first uh, Grail pin, and a, a lot of people now want to play it because again, no one's really played. I've been hyping it for years. Excuse me, months, almost a year will be uh, March, and the March when I got it, March April. So there's that's the turtle. So here's what I'm thinking. Where the play field is now and my dolly, I have room, if I move this over, I've done the, I've done the math, I've, uh, I was actually gonna put the Hobbit here, 
but Hobbit's a wide body, not enough to take the door off this. And in the apartment, there's so many layers of paint over this building was built in 1973 or six. It won't go through. It actually scrapes a little. And I'm like, there's no way it's too nice. So absolutely not. So it's going to stay out there. Wife's okay with it. She has no choice anyways. I mean, it's just, and it's heavy as hell. Um, so that stays out there as it is. I'm going to, if I move this over, I can fit another pin. I mean, easily, easily. I cannot fit three comfortably unless it's folded. So, but I don't want to do that. So here's the plan either because next year, and I'm going to talk about it right now, is the big setup and uh, to see if we can uh, get a house next year and really build top tier. Because for the last couple, couple of years since I've made top tier since 2012, when I first started collecting, it's been just, you know, temporarily um, transitional until we get a place and build an actual arcade room and what top tier's vision is. And I have paperwork, I have drawings and everything uh, to what it's going to look like. But anyway, so I can probably fit another pin. What do you guys think? I want to keep the prices a little low because pins expensive and then once some of the ones I want are expensive or hard to find. Either I put another pinball machine right here. So I have two and then that's it. And then my wife's like, look, you know, it's getting too busy. We have laundry, as you can see. Or like if I mean, unless I find a smoking deal uh, or I've just gone completely nuts. Uh, Turtles goes here, maybe a vid, maybe a video game, um, and then, or maybe a game there. Like, I can fit, if you remember, like if you look at my old, old videos at the beginning, I had Double Dragon and his Pac-Man here, and they fit very nice. So I could technically, you know, put another two vids here, and then another pin, but I think it's going to be too crowded, because then we have a lot of stuff. You know, laundry, I mean, you know, it is what it is. So again, but the main thing is money. So that's the plan in this room. Nothing else out here. I mean, nothing will fit. Unless I got rid of this bookshelf, but there's no game other than ice cold beer, which again is a little harder to find that would actually fit there other than me moving this lamp. If I get rid of the bookshelf, when my wife says, no, that's there, that's our stuff. And it looks a little homelier, even though we have a, very, very expensive pinball machine right in the dead middle of the living room. So, <laughs> um, so what we'll do is, um, you know what, let's just get right to it. Let's start plugging everything in so I can show you them. Uh, now again, I apologize that, well, I'll, I'll talk about it uh, when I sit down and just hang out for a second what I have coming. So let that load. I'll let this come up. Now I finished this up as well. I had a few things I had to do with the view licks in 2018, the very first couple of months. So that's all finished up. While everything loads. Now again, if you guys are new to my channel, let me quickly do this. That's what, instead of having the actual game game itself, there's the exact file that's been encrypted or whatever it's called, and then move to the Raspberry Pi. So you just press send, and then you have every Naomi game and every Atomus Wave game right there, which is arcade perfect, and it runs amazing. So there's the Tato X2 that's loading up. Might get a little loud in here. Again, you can see all this, you know, through I do my review. If you guys want to see it, check my, my videos. Um, now, as you can see, there's a lot of games on here. And I didn't review any. This year has been so busy with new games. I thought last year for sure I was going to run through this. But other than the vertical games, I'm going to go through each one of these games one by one and do a review. Um, and then, so here's the Street Fighter. All right. And then we'll, uh, here's the Hobbit. I'll load it up. Plays great. Looks great. I think it's great. Um... I do have some mods I want to do. I think I've said it before in my last videos. I want to do the blades that I got in the mail. I want to light the buttons, which I'm going to buy in the next month. Just because I'm trying to stack or scurry. Um, I'm trying to um, incrementally buy things so I don't overwhelm myself. And there's no rush anyways. And then also I'm going to put the toys, which I'll show you momentarily. And then that's all I'm going to do. This... I mean, there's other kind of little mods where you can put the ring. Eh, I don't really care. I'm, I don't really mind. Uh, I'm going to light the buttons for sure. I'm going to do the blades. 
just three little toys that are fit neatly and uh, very tasteful. Thorin, Bilbo, and Gollum. And then I've emailed Jersey Jack about a topper. They haven't got back to me. There is like unofficial toppers. But because I cover them with blankets, I'm not going to be able to put it over. So I'm going to leave it. Plus, I'd rather save uh, later on. Because if they make a real topper, then I'd feel like an idiot. And then here's, here's how you pick the game. So it goes down. I'll go to Marvelous's Capcom just because it's uh, the actual marquee game. Blasting through them. And that's the unlocked. Beautiful. So let that load for a sec. Alright, so there's um, Super Street Fighter 4, Arcade Edition. Super Street Fighter 4, Arcade Edition. Alright, so that's with Oni as well. And then uh, while that while that loads, I'll just and that's it. I'm not gonna play the game right now, but just enjoy. So far everything's great. Right, but uh, yeah, I really, really like this. It's great. I think it's a very great game. Uh, they just did a code update, which I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna be doing a code update with the quote restore. <laughs> I know it's not, but when I do, um, when I add the mods, so I'm gonna be doing, uh, and then I'll be doing my first uh, pinball update, which should be very interesting and exciting. Let me just plunge here. So what it's doing is, if you're new to this. Uh, format they're just loading the actual game and uh, again it's Marvel vs Capcom 2 and uh, one of the guys on arcade arcade dash projects.com amazing site great community great uh, great guys they figured out a way how to unlock all of their characters so when I change games I don't have to always put in the code which would be very tedious but um, you know we uh, came together kind of like a GoFundMe page and uh, we hired him after a week or not even a few days and he just did it for us. And just because I didn't have it on free play because I've been changing games because it loses its settings every time I do it. And now off camera, maybe I'll just play a bit while they're uncovered. It's annoying, but uh, again, we'll get a little more into it. Come on. Is it on free yeah. play? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And then there's Marvel vs. Capcom 2 with all the characters unlocked. Ready to go. Beautiful tricing monitor. Um, love playing it. Out of all the, well I guess pinball I play because it's newish. Um, you know, I play, I really play all them. The only reason I don't really play them as much is because I hate taking the stupid blankets off. And putting them back on, it's tedious, so I can't wait one day. So, you know what, guys? That's pretty much inside the apartment uh, when it comes to the games. Again, will I have room? I don't know. I told my wife maybe when we start to move out, you know, within the next... Because we have to give, like, what, 60 days to move out in Canada? I don't know. And it's freezing. Oh, my God, it's cold out. So that's why I've been staying in. I've, just, I've been eating a lot. You can see I look fatter. You'll see when, I, uh, when we talk in a second. But, yeah. That, you know, I just cover the uh, I just cover the games and it's annoying, but almost want to get rid of this stupid extra couch because um, you know if near when we move and just put like another pin. I don't know, that's silly. But either way, I don't want to ramble. Let's get right to it. I know I'm taking already more time, but that's the uh, the games. Um, everything's so far working. Again, little tweaks and whatever we have to do. Like I said, little tweak to the spider guy. You know, little things like that. But we'll do that when we address. The um, we'll do that when we address the uh, the cabinet. So let me sit you down. We'll talk. Let me just do a quick. Man, I can't wait. Think of all this. Boom. That's going. That's going. That's going. So at least I'm gonna get one more game in there. I don't know what it is. Maybe even a super sprint if Adriano sells me his. But you know we'll see. Because now apparently it comes apart. I never knew that. I thought it was one piece like championship champion sprint. <laughs> but anyways, okay guys, <clears throat> let me set you up. Um, we'll uh, we'll hang out for a sec. I don't know, it's getting kind of late. Maybe I won't smoke. We'll see. And um, I'll give you an idea of what I spent and uh, what the future is for uh, top tier in 2018. All right, everyone. So you got to look around the apartment and what's new to top tier. Before we get started, look at this sweet kind of ugly Christmas sweater sweater I got. 
<laughs> season sweepings. Does everyone get the reference? I told, for when I saw this sweater, I laughed probably for a half an hour. I thought it was so clever. Um, no one at work knew what was going on. There's a, a couple of younger kids, kids, you know, in their 20s and even early 30s that don't get it. A lot of people not, if you've known Toronto and you know Canada, no one's like English and no one really gets it because, you know, they're not from here or they've never grew up with that. So me walking in with this sweet shirt, no one knew. And I'm like, no, you're wrong. Anyway, so sick shirt, if you know what it is, comment below what it refers to. Uh, please do because, geez, it helped me and saved me because no one understands it. Only a few people. One guy at work got it. Anyways, let's get right to it. So, you saw the apartment, so new to top tier this year. Finishing off the Tato cab. I have a cheat sheet here. Spent a couple hundred just to get that done. So, that's now perfect. The next came um, Francesco's Blast City. Um, got that from him because he started to get into pinball more. So, he reluctantly let it go, but I kind of forced his hand, and now he's you know happy he went to a good home. So that's working great. Only thing I did to that was I updated the Atomus Wave games, and I'm going to be reviewing those as, as well. Uh, and I themed it uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, and I changed the buttons. Other than that, it, it came pretty much ready to go, and I changed the coin mech, little things. It's in my restore videos if you want, and how to program that. Next, like you just saw, was my turtles. So... Um, Next was my turtles, my first pin, um, and now it's been restored, the playfield by Adriano, so I thank you again if you're watching. Uh, I can't wait to get it back working, even though Hobbit here has filled the void for pin, it's a very long game this is, so having a shorter game like turtles is refreshing, it's a good variety. So that's going to be next, So and then behind me of course, I just bought the Hobbit which was very expensive, even though uh, Ed gave me a great deal on it. It was still uh, very expensive. Now, um, it's Canadian pricing. If you guys want to do a calculator or a converter, you can go and Google it. All in all, this year with parts, games, and everything else, especially the one behind me, I probably spent... Fifteen to sixteen grand, Canadian money. So American, what would that be? Thirteen. So a lot of money spent, uh, around sixteen grand, fifteen, sixteen grand. Um, normally, I would tell you how much Ed gave it to me for, but you know it was a bro deal, so I kind of want to keep that. Later on, I will, you know, once everything's you know done and set up and it's you know it's gone through its uh, phase, but. Um, so very happy about the purchases. Again, do I have room for one or two more in there, maybe even four, if I pushed it, maybe maybe or three more. But again, here's so here's the focus. So before I get to that, I'm getting ahead of myself. What happened? Four game picks up pick up this year, you know, fixed here and there, tweak some things. Um what else? People I gotta thank. All my pinball guys, you've been amazing. You know who you are, you've been very cool, you've been very informative, fun to talk to, I learned a lot in a year, picked up the games, you know, like Roundabout for everything, Francesco's been great, uh, Mike Wong again, great, uh, Adriano, great. everyone, everyone's been good, Ed himself, been, everyone's been amazing, other guys I've been spoken about, I've been very good, uh, Chris, you know, RK, Chris has been great, um, you know, there's a lot of people, you know, that I want to thank, my wife, she won't be watching, but... Um, she's been very supportive and uh, liking how things are going. But again, to a degree, I believe it or not, having this many usually is a fight between spouses. She's cool with that as long as now we have a vision to start to move out. Uh, what else? Uh, the, big, the exciting reveal was in September, if you guys don't know, look back at my special presentation videos. My uh, Street Fighter 1 Deluxe Cabinet was in 2017 Stephen King's It movie. Featured in the movie, Richie, that with a kid, I don't want to spoil it, he plays the game. It's actually my machine. That was very exciting, and I keep that hidden for about a year and a half almost. So if you want to check back that and how it came to be, look at my video, it's very well done. Um, that was very exciting. Uh, what else did I have going on? Uh, what else? Uh, we did some very, we saw a lot of people's great um, homes and places as far as top tier on tour. 
Went to a lot of new places, which was very fun and exciting. Uh, more to come in 2018. Uh, and let's get right into 2018. So here's what the plan is. If I missed anyone out, thank you again. Sincerely, it's been awesome. Um, kind of a transitional year, you know, very busy, just just doing a lot of shit, a lot of things. Um, here's what I'm thinking. First thing on 2018, here's the, here's how I see it. Because 2018, like in the last couple of years, once I when I started collecting, I didn't really know what was to come. When I opened Top Tier, I kind of had an idea in 2014. This year, other than maybe getting one game, I don't know what the future holds. So, here's what I mean. First thing I'm going to do is, in the next two weeks, I'm going to attack Turtles. Slowly, I'm going to record it. Probably have another few videos to go until it's complete, then I review it, like, you know, the cabinet and everything else. Play it. So Turtles is first priority, working on that, spending, dedicating all my time. Turtles is number one. I want that done, if I can, by mid-February, if not earlier. Again, if I can put that play field together in one or two days, we're laughing. But again, I will have to let it cure a little, because uh, Adreno's like, yo, just chill. It's still clear coat, still curing. But at least put it together. So hopefully I can get it done by mid-February. I'm extending my goal. Uh, maybe even earlier, we'll see. So by mid-February, I don't get a new game. I don't do anything, unless there's some stupid deal that comes around that I'm like, okay, nothing moves until February. So mid-February, I'm gonna be restoring Turtles, doing, you know, I'm gonna be going on the road and uh, doing on uh, Top Tour on Tour. Top Tier on Tour, there's a few places that right after the series we're gonna do videos of, uh, both friends, fellow collectors and actually like restaurants or bars or whatnot establishments. Um, so that's next. Then we're going to be hopefully we're going to be doing a lot of gameplays. So we're going to be reviewing a lot of the Sega Naomi games. I'm going to be pumping those out weekly. That's going to be exciting. Having a little more fun and enjoying the hobby instead of fixing shit. Um, we're going to be doing more on the Tato X2. We're going to be doing King of the Fighters, uh, Blaze Blue, you know, things like that that I can see. So we're going to be reviewing those games as well, a good combination of both of these. Um, we're going to be definitely, um, I, I have another two series in mind, like mid-series within my channel, that I might do, but I'm going to just see how I'm going to do it first. Quick videos, great fun videos. Uh, I have that in mind. Um, if you looked at my last video, uh, my 2016 year in review, I did, um, I have a channel called Full Life Bar. Uh, that's been put on a hiatus. I just opened it to actually get the name and logo. It's going to be about either it's going to be about reviewing. I'm a big cigar guy, as you know, so either cigars and alcohol matching, kind of like at the bar, just talking whatever. Um, I don't know if I'm going to wait until I actually get a home to do that. I don't know yet. I don't know. So that's on the back burner, very bad, low, low, low priority. Um, there's going to be more fit, you know, fixing things. But the main focus is, and I don't want to ramble, is this. There's a lot more to the story that I can't tell you or that's behind the scenes that I haven't come to fruition yet. Um, 2018 should be very interesting beyond gaming. Um, can I fit another pin there? Can I fit another arcade machine or maybe even two there? Maybe like with a classic, like a Galaga or a Pac or a, you know, a Q-Bird or whatever, I could. Could I afford them? Yes. At the time, I do not want to. I'm going to speak from the heart. This is going to be very interesting. There's more to the story I can't tell at all. Uh, we've been waiting, my wife and I have been waiting a long time to move and uh, to start our family. It's been delayed because of this. Um, I'm going to get emotional, so I'll get right to it. We're going to be getting a house, hopefully, because this is a transition. I know what you're thinking. Steve, man, in the first like five minutes of your video, all I'm seeing is fucking blankets. And I'm sorry to be so vulgar and swear. But if I was watching, be like, what the hell? <laughs> I don't get to see shit. The exciting things. Um, all my videos are there. Uh, you know, that's why they're there archives. You can see them all, what they look like up close. I've done enough videos on one game. Believe me, I know it's silly. Um, but the reason is I ha I'm in transition mode. My parents might be selling their home. It was supposed to be sold already. It wasn't. There's a lot going on personally with my family and that I can't get into. Um, 
my buddy was very kind enough. We made you know a deal, and I helped him out with some things behind uh, the scenes, and he's helped me store my games there. As you can see, he's running a full full business and growing like crazy. Um, I don't want to store more at my parents, though I could have a whole garage. Uh, again, there's a lot behind the scenes that it's a li there's too much to the story, even if I told you to be like, what do you mean? Um, having more games there is a little risky at the moment. Uh, and just believe me when I say that. And, uh, and then here. So yes, I have room for one or two more, maybe even four more if I really pushed it. But I have to respect my wife, even though she's cool with it, and, and I hate to be one of those husbands. What, say go, what I say goes within reason, but I'm very reasonable. I know this sounds ludicrous, but my vision is to get a home by next, give or take, next year or very early 2019. What the future holds, I usually have a good understanding. I'm not gonna think anymore. I'm gonna let 2018 just in life take its course. I know for damn sure if Turtles is gonna be done, which is off my mind. Um, and I also know for damn sure I'm going to probably get one more game. I don't know if it's a pin, a vid, I don't know, maybe nothing. We're ready to get a house, it's a long story. I live in Toronto, Canada. Things are changing in the housing market. Believe it or not, I've been saying it for so many years, everyone laughed at me. Steve, why don't you get a house to get all your stupid games? This year's going to be very interesting. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just type in Canadian housing market and the fiasco that is and the potential crash like it was in the U.S. Some say it's going to be worse, others say it's going to be not as bad. Others say it won't even come. Either way, I've been waiting for it. We've been renting for years and paying dues like assholes, sitting here and being um, you know, confined to the space, even though it's a lot better than most people have it in the world. I have to be humble, but we do work hard, and it's about, uh, it's about time. So next year will be very interesting. If I could look... And I'll give you a thousand dollars to give you five. And if I can fast forward time for five minutes, what it would be like right here, exactly when I'm filming my 2018 review, I would do it because I'm so curious of what where we're going to be in life, and what's going to happen. So next year is going to be a transitional year. Um, it's going to be a year where I won't be picking up that many games. If you're expecting me to pick up another five, six games, it's not happening. And unless something crazy happens and I'm coming to serious money or we move out early, it's not going to happen. Will I be picking up at least one more? Yes, maybe two, maximum. Unless, again, I get a stupid, crazy deal where it's, there's, you know, it's a no-brainer. Um, going to be a lot of gameplay videos, a lot of tour videos. So next year, look for a lot of top tier on tour. A lot of my buddies that have agreed for me to do their uh, basements, their places, whatever, that's happening. A lot of new bars I'm going to go to, so that's going to be exciting. Mm -hmm. A lot to go to, a lot to check out, a lot of gameplay, and um, you know, a pick up here and there, and again, finish off the Turtles full game. I still have part two to five to do, and you know, maybe three more uh, videos to, to finish it off. Um, guys, I don't know what else to say other than thank you for subscribing, thank you for watching, thank you for your feedback, bad and good. Um, if you're going to say anything bad, it's fair. It's it's an open market. Just let me, you know, give me feedback so I can help improve. I've been, I don't want to ramble, but I've been very restricted. If you can tell my eyes, I've been very restricted based on time and ability to fix the games. And because I know a lot of things I've done are very hacky and very bad. There's reasons I can't explain at the moment, but um, I'll, it'll all come to pass and I'll do a tell all in the years to come. But with that being said, it has been a pleasure. I truly mean it. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. There's a lot coming up. Um, not only that, but join me on this ride because, again, I hope to one day soon look back at this and say, Steve, you remember when, or hey, do you remember that, Steve, when, if you ever came to visit me, do you remember when you are that little apartment? Actually, it's big for the size compared to what's out there now, but do you remember when you are confined and you are worrying what's going to happen and now you have all this huge basement? Um, one, two things before I end off is I told my wife there is a few things. Oh, this goes in a sleep mode. I never knew that. Huh. Uh, two things, sorry, two things uh, I told my wife that will not be compromised is one, I'm going to have a detached house uh, for noise and for freedom. And second, I'm going to have a big basement. Does it have to be walk out? No. Will I, sh when I, will I go for a walk out, out or a walk up or service stairs? Absolutely yes. There's no option. Detached house, big basement. That's it.
Everything else we can deal with. She's agreeing with it. Her deal with me, if you, if you ever ask, ask me, how do you get your wife to go with this? She has no choice. I, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm going to uh, sound like an asshole, but in this day and age it is. But back in the day it wasn't. I'm a man, and the man says what it does, what's going to happen in the house. It's a 51-50, or 49 business, <laughs> the way I see it. I get final say. I'm the man of the house. That's what's happening. But I'm very, very um, fair to her. I know he doesn't come off like that over the camera. A lot of people pissed off. I'm a little douchey. Fine. You don't know me personally. Those that do understand me fully. I mean, said, oh my God, when I first saw you, you're an asshole. But when I met you, it's night and day. And I'm not trying to big myself up, but it's very, very different. So guys, look, um, next year, is, I'm set up before, it's going to be very interesting. I'm going to just let it happen. Turtles is coming. Tech coming. Tours are coming. Gameplay definitely is coming. Pickup will be coming, don't know how many. And by end of next year, I'm very interesting where we will be. It has been a pleasure. If you need anything from me, email me. Let me know what you guys think of what I picked up and, um, you know, and just what's up. Thank you again and all the best in the 2018 and the years to come. Peace and thank you.